All of these uh, things. Our grand wedding in Lake Michigan, which means you either renew your vows or you get married in the lake. No, you're not going to be swimming around in the lake. You're just going to be standing in the lake. Right. That's happening coming up in August, August 15th. Now, that'll be truly summer. Like, that'll be a nice, yes, gorgeous day. Uh, we get you married in the lake or your uh, vows renewed, and then we all head over to Trillium Event Center for a, a nice reception, dinner, dancing, got flowers, got a cake. It's always good times. I just realized, August 15th, I have a bunch of people coming to visit. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Oops. Well, hey. I can tell you something, Connie. For fifteen for fifteen dollars a piece, yeah. they can be a guest at the grand wedding because <laughs> it's either twenty five dollars oh. to uh, renew your vows or get married, and that's for the couple, or fifteen dollars to come as a guest. So if you want a wedding party, you can do that. We had a couple like full blown wedding parties yeah. at last year's grand wedding. But if you want all your guests and everybody to be able to come, you might want to send them like a. Little note saying, Get hey, it. you need to buy these tickets now. Get it done, because uh, it will sell out. It sold out last year. It will happen again. We did get a bigger venue, so we can uh, hopefully get a few more people uh, to be able to come and celebrate with us. Get all the info and your tickets right now on my channel, 957.com. Did you see um, the, the woman who graduated from college, Long Beach State University, and uh, she had given birth, like, a month into her senior year. Right. And uh, she was breastfeeding, and she took a picture of it at, at graduation. And I how did. How blown up. I did, because people, uh, you can see, like, her areola a little mm-hmm. bit, and her boob is hanging out, uh, and people are saying that that is not okay. You know, the, the whole, when are we going to get over this whole breastfeeding thing is I not know, okay. I, you know, I agree. This, the, the one thing I can see about this is she is... And she's standing amongst all the other graduates. Mm-hmm. So it's not like a very natural place to feed your baby. Like the, you, a lot of times you could say, my baby was hungry. I had to feed her. But then you go sit on a bench somewhere. But you don't nobody stand. there cared. The, that's right. the funny thing about what you just said. Nobody there cared. It was when they posted it on Twitter. Right. And then people were like, why are you doing that? Your <laughs> why boob are you doing is, that in public? Why are you doing that at graduation? But you're if you, at graduation. If you look at the picture, she is like among the amongst the, all the graduates. So right. she's right there in the crowd. Imagine, yeah, she's got her gown and cap on. Imagine your surprise if you saw a picture of that on Twitter. And it's not your Twitter friend. Like, obviously, you know her. You know she has a kid. Mm-hmm. So then that, like, spiders out and mushrooms. And now other people are seeing it. The judge. It's funny. I looked at the picture and I was like, oh, cute baby. It is a cute baby. Super cute baby. Yeah. Uh, and she was hungry. She was. She needed to get some food. Or he. I can't tell at that age. I think it's a baby because it's wearing a pink it dress. It kind of looks like a... Oh, okay. I, I'm, I, I can't see the picture in color. Okay. Pink dress and, uh, and tights and like okay. some nice little uh, white shoes. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a cute. cute little baby. But uh, And she's smiling. It's... It's not the picture, if I was going to say to you after you just graduated, hey, I'm going to take a picture of you, because this is not a selfie. This is someone took this picture. Right. You would probably not have your boob out and have your baby sucking on it, right? You would give your baby to someone else. I probably wouldn't, but it's hard for me to weigh in on what I would do if I had a baby, because I don't have a baby, and I've never had a baby. But I Right now, yeah. babyless Connie right. would say, no, I probably wouldn't do it. Right there. Okay, even but someone, I don't care that she did. Even someone who has three babies and has seen a yeah. woman breastfeed, like Katie is not going. Katie's going to say, "Let me feed the baby and then take a picture." Where would she go feed the baby, Katie? If you guys were uh, out, just like on a bench, probably, or okay. in the car sometimes. Okay. Uh, uh, did she but, ever go into the bathroom? Because I know that's always a big argument. Like, I don't want to take my baby into yeah, a bathroom. Do ever, you want to eat your lunch in a bathroom? I don't think she ever went in okay. a bathroom. Babies don't know about eating lunch in a bathroom, though. They'll eat lunch anywhere. Right. Babies eat garbage off the ground. Right. Seriously. So that's that's bull. But this is a picture where if I said, hey, I'm going to take your, your picture, congratulations, you would say, all right, I'm feeding my baby. Give me a minute. Right. You wouldn't say, all right, take it. And whoever took the picture. But I think that's the only reason why this picture was taken was because she was bre- breastfeeding her baby. You're not going to take that picture. I mean, that's why this picture was taken. But it doesn't look like, it doesn't come across as that. Like, it's her smiling, like, here I am in my graduation, I'm so happy picture, and I just happen to have a baby on my boob. Come on. That's no. why this pic- the person took this picture because she was breastfeeding. Okay. That's why it's taken. That's in not, my head. That's not how I'm seeing it. I'm <laughs> seeing it as, hey, congratulations, like I'm there, like her dad took this picture, way to go, and she's breastfeeding the baby. What do you think, Amanda? I think the picture was taken as like, look at these accomplishments. She had a baby, but she also yes. graduated from school. That's is how I, I see too. the picture. That's but she could have been too. holding the baby in her arm. She doesn't need to have the baby eating. I have no problem with breastfeeding in public, but this picture, obviously she was looking for some sort of reaction when it see, was See, I think taken. it was one of her friends who, exactly what Amanda said, look at these this accomplishment. She gave birth her senior year. 
she's feeding her baby, and she's graduating from college. That's how I took it. Okay. So it's like her sister, and she's like, yeah, I'm so proud of you. Click. Okay, but I think even if you're getting your picture taken by your sister, you go, well, hold on, let me finish feeding the baby. We don't need- Right, which is why I think it was taken because We don't need to have this. Which is why I think it was taken because of So maybe she's upset about it. I don't know. She looks happy. Well, that's what I'm saying. Cause she, they're like, "Cheers!" or "Cheese!" or whatever you say, and click, and they took it, and then it goes out. And now people are yelling at her. You should see the picture. Um, I mean, her boob is totally hanging out. So there's that. It's online, mychannel957.com. It. Uh, I don't know. See what you think. I think that it was taken yeah. at where she's just happy, and they took it. Connie and Amanda think it was taken to show off the fact that she's breastfeeding. And if that is the case, no, then- not the fact that she's breastfeeding, the fact that she's breastfeeding and she graduated from college and she had a baby and she has a right. lot of things going on. The accomplishments. What okay. Amanda said, I agree a thousand percent with. Look, look at you guys. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> the accomplishment, because that's not an easy thing to do is right. have kids and, and finish college. It's showing that she's like juggling all these things. Like, look, I can even do my graduation ceremony. Right. Be right. just getting done with that and then manage to be able to feed my baby while I'm still holding my diploma in my hand. Right. Also, you know, you're <laughs> you can pump, you can you can bottle your breast milk. Yeah. Right. So that too, like there could have been obviously this baby wasn't with this woman during the ceremony, mm-hmm. wasn't sitting on her lap. So there probably was a bottle of breast milk sitting there with someone who was in charge of taking care of the baby. Right. So again, this is like a, hey, look at this. Here you go. Like I, I kind of see your point. My, uh, childless Connie, you know, I would not pose for that picture and be like, hey. Right, my boob's out. But look what I got. You know, I've never had a baby, so what do I know? Who's the, uh, who's the model? Uh, Jamie King. Did you see the Jamie King picture that's no. getting a lot of uh, press right now? So she is in a bed, and the baby is breastfeeding okay. right there next to her in bed. And people are saying, why are you why are you taking that picture? Why are you sending that out to people? Did she tweet it? Uh, it might have been in a magazine okay. or for a photo shoot. Uh, I definitely saw it yesterday or the day before okay. where it went out, and uh, people are now are up in arms over that, too. But she's in her bed. Like, that's not even in public. So right. what is the point of getting upset about that? Well, I guess it it depends on what the readership of the magazine is. Yeah, and I don't know that it is a magazine. I'm you just know, saying. If it's GQ, that may be one thing well, because the readership men, is men. It's a men's men. magazine, right. right? No, it wasn't a sexual. But if it's thing. Woman's World, let's see if I can find I don't out. I know if what, that's around anymore. What she's doing in you this know? picture? <clears throat> Give me one second. Okay. Yeah. I saw that photo was posted on Instagram. So she put it up? She put it That's on what there. it looks like. To okay. Me. So I saw it uh, yesterday, and then she must have tweeted it out, the Instagram link. Have I seen her as a model? Like, I don't know models' names. Is she a model or an actress? Jamie King. Jamie King. Let me look. I feel like she is a. She can't uh, be all that popular because none of us know her. Well, except for you. Right. <laughs> But Amanda and I don't troll the internet for hot chicks. Uh, so no. she's an actress. She was in Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've known her. So here's her picture. It's in. Uh, so she shared this on Instagram. It's her in a bed okay. with her baby, right there. Oh, that's funny. I did see that link, but they had her face blurred out. Okay. It said which uh, celebrity did this? Yes, and I did not click on it. So I know, and I've never. I don't recognize her. Okay. Yeah, all. she's in some good movies that I've seen. Okay. She's in that one Slackers movie. Mm-hmm. Like she's she's a cutie. Uh, so yeah. So people are mad about that, and that's so in her what, bed. What was that for? Uh, it looks like she just sent it out. Oh, she just sent it out. Yeah, okay. she just said, uh, here it is. She's in that uh, show Heart of Dixie, too, that I like, because okay. it has all the, the hot actresses on. So whenever <laughs> like I go past that channel, I find Shocker. myself watching it until the next commercial. That's another show I've never heard of that you watch. Yeah, you need to start watching more shows. <laughs> Apparently, I do. <laughs> yeah, I get okay. into that. Well, you can see the other picture that we were talking about, the mom who graduated from college who's breastfeeding her baby up at my channel. A wet Wednesday. I have breaking news. This better be good. This is good if you're me. It's not so good if you're you. And I'm sorry. I just completed the BuzzFeed quiz, Are You the Worst? (laughs) And I am not the worst. Yay! (laughs) I checked off. No, that is good for me. Why wouldn't that be good for me? Well, because sometimes you think I'm the worst. Like, and you'll say, you're the worst. But now I have proof (laughs) that I'm not the worst. 25 out of 50, I checked off. It says, you are not the worst, but you're pushing it. Uh, Look at number 50. Did okay. you check it? I did check. People, of course you did. People love my funny stories. I absolutely, That's number 50. I absolutely checked that uh, box. Now, did you also take the quiz? I did take the quiz. Are you more the worst than I am? You got what, 25? So you're half? I'm halfway. <laughs> I got 15. 15. It says I am not the worst. I might even be the best. 
Well, that is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and it called me buddy. You're all right, buddy. Here's something that I, I laughed right. because number 21 <laughs> is I celebrate my birthday week. And I know that you. I know def- that's why you sent me that. You definitely do celebrate your entire <laughs> now, birthday week. I did check number twenty one. I used to. I in the past had I would have had to month. check twenty two. So twenty two um, is I celebrate my entire birthday month. I definitely did used to do that, but I definitely celebrate my entire birthday week. Now you also look awesome in a fedora, so that one you probably checked. Uh, where is that one? That's number eighteen. Did you check 18? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Um, now, do And you, thank you. Yes, I did. Uh, one thing I've like, never done a magic trick at a bar that no one requested. Okay, now I have. <laughs> uh, rarely, rarely do people request uh, magic tricks. You know, you don't see that very often. Number 16 is, at parties, I usually end up playing guitar for everyone. Okay, now I do not uh, end up playing guitar, but I, I'm guessing that our intern Carly, Carly probably ends up playing guitar for everyone. We have a, a new feature that we started online at mychannel957.com mm-hmm. called Interns Got Talent. Now, the first episode was uh, Brian dancing, and yep. it was like six seconds long, and I thought it was a mistake. Uh, I said, this thing got cut off, and then we had Nick doing magic. Magic. And now um, I see Carly has brought in a guitar, so we're really stepping it up. Carly, Carly, well, she's she's grabbing getting, her guitar right now. She's oh, getting her guitar for this party. Of course, because you mentioned yeah. a guitar, and the guitarist has to break it out and say, "Oh, I'll play for you." <laughs> <laughs> let me let me strum. Haven't a you ever bit. wished that you could do that though? Yes, me too. Absolutely. Just I, pick it up at a campfire and be able to. Kumbaya, <laughs> my lord. I don't think I would sing Kumbaya. that. Maybe I would. Everybody gather around. Carly, can you sing Kumbaya? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, what, what can you play? Don't, what do you do? So don't you play in bars and stuff around GR? Yes, I'm actually playing at Flow Sports Bar this Saturday. Boom. You are, now, do you play by yourself? Um, I have a drummer. His name is Luke. Wow. Luke the drummer. He sounds hot. He does sound hot. Uh... He has a beard. Well, there you go. <laughs> Not so hot to me, but off, whatever. Off Connie's <laughs> list. So what kind of uh, songs do you play? Um... We do a lot of covers. I write a lot of stuff, too. Um, wow. It's like a indie, pop, rock kind of thing. Okay. okay. It's really cool. <laughs> now, the okay. joke the joke with cover bands is, uh, like, you'll be at a bar, and they're playing, and then the singer will say, and now here's one that I wrote, and, and everybody, everybody goes leaves. to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Does that happen to you? Um, Sometimes. Okay. Yeah, that's happened. <laughs> that happens like, to They just kind of stop listening. Yeah. Some people Aww. get really into it. They're like, man, you're... You're so deep, you know. Nice. I'm like, okay. What do you write songs about, Carly? Life. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know. Just everything that touches you? Uh, yeah, I try to write um, very vaguely so that people can... Interpret like, how they want. Right. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So unlike Taylor that's Swift, smart. where she breaks up with somebody and then writes a million songs <laughs> right. about them, that's not your thing. You would you write about life and my experiences, and I can go, wow, I I love in hearing there. people get into arguments about what songs mean. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's a good knows. song then. Yeah. Right. No, it means that you and I have gotten into a million debates about like, that. Like a million and an eight. What's your favorite song to play? Um, Like mine or? Your favorite song to play. Yeah, any. That's a lot. I have like. Three hours worth of music. Well, let's say let's say that we said pick up your guitar and play. What would you go into? Um, let's say we were at a campfire. Can we pretend we're at a camp a campfire? <laughs> sure. Yes. Okay. Do we have fire? Sounds? No. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Are we burning like a chipmunk in that fire? <laughs> uh, no. Pita. But speaking of chipmunks, I've yeah. seen three of them at my house in the last. In one day, I saw three of them. <laughs> three, in and the it last... may have been the same one running around the house. Okay. I'm not really sure, but it was across the street too. And I was like, "What are the chances that across the street they get smushed?" You need to spray paint it. And I haven't seen a chipmunk. What are the chances of across the street without getting smushed? <laughs> you should see how people drive in my neighborhood. Like a million. Oh no! Spray paint its tail bright orange, and then you'll know which it's one it so is. So cute. Spray paint them all like NASCAR Turned the corner cars. the other day and looked at us and went. It talked to you. And then it ran. Okay, back to your song. Okay, go ahead. One, two, three. Oh, oh. Like I'm actually doing this. <laughs> yeah, we want you to play something. Um, First, play something that's uh, popular music. Okay, this popular is. Music? Yeah, this play is- something oh, yeah. that's not your song. Whoa, ouch. Well, her song isn't popular yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not, Maybe not we'll yet. make it popular. It's popular to her. Uh, Not to the masses. No, the masses have never heard. But maybe it will be. So, something that a lot of us would know. Um, okay, it might Car- be a little older. That's that, fine. That's fine. Carly on guitar. We're just impressed that you can do it, Carly. Do you want me to play the whole song? No. no. Just play no. like the hook part. Okay. If she oh, had a hook, that'd be. That was very Van Halen of you. <laughs> if she had a hook, that'd be even more impressive. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I would go see it. The chorus is what we mean. Play hey. the chorus. Okay. This is a little older. Okay. Then who? A little older. <laughs> if you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Oh, that's good. Time after time. That's way better than I thought. Oh, I will get you. I'll be waiting. Time after time. Wow. You do have tailing, <laughs> Carly. I was not expecting that That's at all. That's awesome. Okay, now play us a little bit of yours. One of a, a Carly original. Can Anything you... of mine? Well, as well, long as it doesn't swear. Right. Uh, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't cuss that. F much. you. <laughs> <laughs> Sing Miley's F you. If, if you could do Wrecking Ball. If you could do oh. Miley Cyrus F you. Okay. That That's the end great. of Intern's Got Tailing. <laughs> <laughs> Intern's all Got right. Pouty Mouth. <laughs> no kidding. Okay, so this is a Carly original. Do I just do the chorus? Yeah. 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 It's really weird. I've been playing. Um, Would you talk my... like this at your show? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> <What> I... <Yeah. laughs> it's like we're listening to the live I... album. I'm really awkward on stage, but I guess people find it charming. I don't know why. Yeah. Okay. Awkwardness is charming. We, we think, think that's adorkable. We think you're adorkable. You're, uh-huh. Yes. That'll be my I, just band le- name. I just learned that word today. Did you know? Uh, it's never going it. into some dictionary. Adorkable? I don't know which dictionary. Adorkable. And that's when you're such a dork that it's Who's adorable. Who's the chick with the big giant eyes? Zoe Duchanel. Yeah, her. <laughs> Apparently, she coined it on that. What's that show she's on? The New Girl. That one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Apparently, that's where it got coined. So some t- television writer came up with a word, yeah. and now she's getting credit because yes. her character said it on yes. a show. Yes. Adorkable. It's a great word, though. Love isn't it. it? Thank okay. You. Sorry, Carly. It's Go okay. ahead. It's okay. Can we call this song adorkable? Um. I, sure. Or okay. Does it, have a, it has another name. Can we call you adorkable? Yes. You're not a dork, but you are adorable. Okay. Um, it's it's called If You Left. <laughs> if you left. My guitar's what, really out of tune. I'm sorry. I know what that one's about. I think it's about my cat. I think it's about when your cat leaves the room. I was thinking <laughs> you're gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't heard one word of it no, yet. We don't need to. No, we don't need to hear a word. Okay. If you left, it's Carly. <laughs> That is Carly. Yeah, that's good. That is uh, who does she sound like? She sounds like is it Alanis? Uh, I mean, oh, no. Alanis. Oh, Jewel? don't tell me. I don't that. know. Jewel, a little Jewel. Uh, I do have Maybe? a question for you though. What is the lyric there? I'll say it blindly. Bluntly. Blunt. See. Bluntly. So it's a misheard lyric. I was like, I'll say it blindly. What uh, exactly are you feeling <laughs> around the room? Is it in Braille? How are you? How are you saying this to me? Did you have uh, somebody in mind when you wrote that song? Um, yeah. Was it, was it us? <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought today was Thursday, and I thought yesterday was Wednesday. I'm on a, uh, a backward slide here. Yeah, that sucks. And I got to get out of this funk, because if I think tomorrow is Friday, that's really going to ruin my I day. Know. So I got to get away from it. I think the rain's going to help, where it makes me, you know, less uh, active. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd slow down a little bit in the rain, so maybe that's going to do it for me. Hmm. Do you guys have a super busy weekend planned? Um... Uh, I don't think so. No? I don't know. Somebody was asking me last night all kinds of questions about like what the kids are doing for camp and everything, and, and I said, that's the person you want to talk to right there, <laughs> and pointed to my wife. I have no idea. Oh. Right? I, I, like on the weekend or any day, I get home, and I say, all right, what are we doing today? And mm. then I am given my assignment. Or sometimes the night before, like mm-hmm. if I know I have stuff going on during the day, I'll say, what am I doing tomorrow? And I get my marching orders, and then I just take and them. And then you just do it. And I just do it. Yeah. yeah. Who, who am I taking with? What's going on? Do I have to stay for the whole time or can I leave? Thank you. Well, I have some exciting news. What is your exciting news? Dan and I <gasps> buying a house. Yay! What? Yay! Where? Actually, um, like here? Yes, here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I don't know. We're in the process of buying um, a house okay. and uh, we close a week from Friday. Wow. Because remember, uh, Curtis and I moved here. October of 12, right? Yeah, so like- It's been like 19 months. Almost two years. Yes. So you- And I still owned a home over there Wait, did that sell too? That sold a week and a half ago. What the heck? I know. June is a very good month. Wow. So we sold one. Now we're buying one. Holy smokes. (laughs) Fingers crossed at the closing. Buying a house is so annoying. Do you have one picked out? Yes. What? Yeah, we close in a week and a half. We okay. close a week from Friday. That's awesome. Next Friday. That's hopefully. Next Friday. Hopefully. 
Wow. wow. So many things can go wrong between now and then. Would you stop then. it? Seriously. Every day. It's so funny because um, I was I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to jinx it. Okay. But I think we're beyond the jinxing point. Okay. I mean, it's our house. It's going to be but now, if eventually. But some, now, if something goes wrong like now, you can look back at this moment as the moment that <laughs> jinxed it. Uh, I didn't oh. tell anybody until this week, really. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. How, how have people been reacting? Like, are they, yeah. So that is going to be a lot of fun. I won't I be know. able to help with that aspect, but okay. once the pool is up and running, I mean, I'll gladly... That's okay. I've got friends who are helping with that. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you know your true friends because they will never ask you to help them move. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember that. No, we're actually getting movers. Oh, good. We're going to try and do a lot of stuff, our, like kitchen stuff, because it's not... In we Ken- live in, we're in Kentwood now. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, but how am I going to move a, a bedroom set and a couches? Wagon? No, I don't have a wagon. Get a wagon. I don't have a truck. Get that guy who steals forklifts for a living to grab your one. <laughs> He He's going to be doing some jail time. Yeah, but that's got to be like a court date set. He won't be doing that Friday. <sighs> He'll have plenty of time. Well, congratulations. That's <laughs> Thank awesome. Thank you. That is so cool. I'm super excited. Kentwood, you got a pool. It'll never rain. <laughs> I mean, you are so lucky. It'll probably never hit 80 again for get, the rest of the summer. Like the home inspection is all passed and everything? Yep. Okay. You don't have termites? No. Okay. No termites. No uh, grubs in the lawn? No. Okay, good. Uh-uh. Worry about you. No. All right. So be be safe then. I will. Around that pool buddy system. I will. I had uh, <laughs> Charlotte wanted to go looking for frogs in a pond the other day. Okay. And I had to say, um, find somebody to go with you yeah. and you can go do it. And she said, well, what do you mean? And I said, Charlotte, if you fall into that pond yeah. n- and no one's there, you drown and no one knows. We don't know where you are. We're mad at you because we think you're off running right. around doing something, but really you're drowning. And she said, so I just need a friend? And I'm like, yes. So then she found a friend, and their mom wouldn't let him go to the pond, even <laughs> with what? Charlotte. So then she's like, no, my dad says it's okay. And they're like, not okay. The two of you can't your go to the pond. Your dad is not a good <laughs> your, dad. <laughs> your dad's bad at this. I wonder if that mom said that. <laughs> yeah, probably. She was thinking your it. Your dad let me get this straight. is the worst. So you just said, your dad said that if you found my kid, you two could go to the pond by yourselves. And you're seven. Oh. Your dad's a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad's a moron. But buddy system. So, yeah, make sure at least Dan's sitting there or maybe get a, a webcam. I'll watch you on the webcam while you're swimming. Mm-hmm. Call 911 for you when you don't resurface. I'll watch you. I'm going to resurface. Every time. You probably won't even go under, right? You'll just be floating on the pool? Oh, no. I'm going to be doing laps. Yeah, I cannot wait to swim. Are you going to be fit? I, <laughs> that's the goal? <laughs> like Mike Phelps? I hope so. Awesome. I don't know if I'll be like Michael Phelps. I hope you are. I hope eventually. Um, but I hope so. I hope eventually you turn into Michael Phelps. An Olympic-sized pool in your yard. Oh, my that gosh. Could awesome. you imagine? Is that not what you have? No. Oh. <laughs> it's like one one-hundredth of the size Do of Do you it. have a, a slide? No. Do you have a uh, diving board? No. Oh, Maybe. seriously. What is it? Is it zero depth? <laughs> It's two feet deep. It's a blow-up pool. Yeah. But whatever. I don't want to hear it. That one is in Hot Tub Time Machine. Uh, that movie, again, I, I watched it the other day on cable. So different on cable because mm-hmm. uh, it's kind of a dirty movie, but mm-hm. still. I mean, it, I have not seen it. So funny. You need to I see need it. I need to watch it. It is like the, uh, it has John Cusack in it. So mm-hmm. he was like an 80s movie star. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of 80s movie type uh, references because right. they're back in the 80s. Mm-hmm. And then he's the perfect guy to do it because he was in all those movies. Right. Uh, better off. I I saw him in 16 Candles this weekend. Somebody asked him for $2 in the uh, in the movie from Better <laughs> Off Dead. It's right. uh, pretty funny. Lost on